Welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today we're going to be starting part one of a two to three part kitchen makeover. We're going to be painting our kitchen cabinets and the reason why we're going to paint them is they have a lot of problems, a lot of things that the people who had the house before like whoever painted it for them or whoever did their cabinets or something I don't know it's over 50 years old the house is they just polyurethane over the hinges and the handles and I was telling you that we're not going to be doing anything to that side because I actually had started this out by talking to you while I was filming but it ended up being way too long so this is some of the damage that I'm showing you and it's just a mess and we've been living here over seven years we haven't done anything to the house other than one bathroom we painted and put down linoleum because it had carpet in there and we have painted and put a few shelves up in the pantry but that's about all we've done and we are ready for this tiny kitchen to be brighter and look better so we're going to start with the makeover today we're going to first take everything down, and that is what I was talking about. Off the shelves, off the countertops, off the top of the refrigerator. That is part of the, even, the dining room. We're going to paint that, all of that. And all of the family room will be a whole different video, but we do have plans to paint it. I will keep you updated on that. So let's just get everything out of the way. After we got everything off the walls, off the countertops, we didn't take everything off the refrigerator yet. Don't know why. But um, anyway, we got all that off and now we have started taking the doors off. The next thing we're going to do is clean, but I have found that there are some things in this kitchen that I cannot get off, even though almost eight years worth of scrubbing has not budged it so towards the end I am going to show you a couple of things and I'm going to ask you to help me if you can right here we're noticing that our doors are made out of plywood we have lived here almost eight years and did not notice that I'm going to be using Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. I get this from Grove Collaborative. And the reason why I'm using it is because it is a degreaser that works really well, but does not smell horrible. And I can actually stand to be around it. It actually smells pretty good and it actually works. So that is why I'm using it. If you don't have something, build it. Jeff built this out of some scraps. It's a little sand paper holder and it's got a little handle and it works really good and it's comfortable to use. But he was just playing around and built it. And this is what we're gonna be using it for. We're gonna fill up those holes to um, get rid of all that cruddy, crusty nastiness. Okay, this is pretty self-explanatory. We're taping paper on the inside of the cabinets. We live life the hard way, but not today. Just Of 
Okay, here I did a quick shot of him filling the old hinge holes. We used some wood putty that you mix yourself as powdered. I cannot think of the name of it, but I do end up showing it later on whenever we're doing the doors. Maybe I will be able to read it and tell you then. Okay, we use this Zinzer Bullseye 123 primer. It's for interior, exterior. It's um, supposed to work on shiny surfaces and things such as that. It's also supposed to cover up small water spots and different things. It's made by Rust-Oleum and it's water-based. It works really good. It's very thick, which we did not expect. And I would recommend it myself because it works really good. We only used one coat of primer, but the paint we purchased has primer in it as well. Okay, this is the next day, and the primer has dried. It covered really well, and we're about to start with the paint. So I'm showing you the primer first, so you can kind of get an idea. And we do have a fan ventilating, it's sucking the air out. We're using the Valspar 2000 Paint and Primer Mix in the High Hide White. I chose that because I wanted to hide things. <laughs> I wanted to hide all the horribleness and it already looks brighter it already looks so much brighter in there so we were painting this and Noah was about to start helping us but we were talking about something else first I'm not sure what we were just getting everything set up to start on the doors and I had this brilliant idea to run them through the planer real quick just to knock all that cruddiness off not a good idea don't do it I'm gonna show you why now you see all those knot holes 
We ran two of them through the planer and it messed them up bad. So, we didn't do any more. We learned our lesson really quickly. But we wanted those two to be the same thickness because they were the ones that were near each other and they needed to be the same because they're the only ones on that wall. So, we ended up just deciding to sand them. Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty is what we use to fill all the holes. Whenever you mix this, do a little bit at a time because it gets hard very quickly. This is before we actually did the holes. We went ahead and sanded all of them and I cleaned all of them, wiped them down really well. Okay, after all the putty had dried, we broke out the big guns. We got a sander out. I actually had a little bit rougher grit of sandpaper than Jeff did on his little sanding block. He used the 200 grit to make them really fine and or make it really smooth. And I had an 80 grit sandpaper with the sander so that we could just get it all done really quickly and ready to prime. Okay, so now it's time to prime the doors. Yes, I'm wearing the house shoes. They're for outside use only. And I have a good pair. <laughs> anyway, these um, doors, there were so many of them. We did not have space on our little sawhorse pallet table. It's actually all made out of pallets almost. Maybe all of it. I'm not sure. We love our pallets. Anyway, um, we were taking, he was taking some of them inside because we just didn't have enough space get them all primed up getting ready to paint because we just wanted to have them all nice and ready to be put on as quick as possible okay I know you can't tell the difference because the primer and the paint are both white. this is the paint <laughs> we are just trying to get them all nice and easily covered we did have to put two coats of paint on it because they're dark now the walls we only had to put one coat of primer one coat of paint the doors and the cabinets two coats no one coat of primer two coats of paint so now we are just getting them all painted and for some crazy reason i wanted jeff to do a close-up i don't know why Okay, for the final coat on the doors, because the wind was blowing and there was dust and pollen and bugs starting to accumulate, we decided to just bring the doors inside to finish them off. So what we did is painted them on this table and took them into the kitchen and laid them on the counters, except the last few which stayed on the table. So we did all the soffits, all the cabinets, we did not do the window frame or the window itself. The reason why is because there's some like sticky stuff where that the people that lived here before, I need to figure out how to get it off. I've got some stuff I'm gonna try. And I've really just never messed with it much because we just always had a curtain there. I've cleaned it, but I haven't like tried to scrub that stuff off. One reason I was afraid I was gonna mess up the wood. 
But anyway, um, I'm going to try to get all that off. And we're going to leave it that color. Hopefully, we can get it to looking nice. But we're going to leave it that color because the rest of the walls, or the other two walls, are that color. And I don't know. I just thought it would be nice to leave it that way. Um, also, the countertops are staying the way they are. Whenever we start over, which will be tomorrow, but it won't be your tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and paint the rest of what I'm pointing at. We're going to have to move the freezer and things. So, you know, we'll get that done. We're going to take those things down. And the little things where the words are up on the top part, we're going to tape around them and we're going to leave some of the old paint there. We did this in the bathroom so we wouldn't lose our pretty words. So, um, that is what it's going to be like right now we're going to leave that the way it is we have huge mess everywhere but that's okay it's only temporary and the walls are really pretty it's all bright we do have some spots where the previous owner whoever painted it for them left paint and didn't they didn't tape it properly and stuff like that which is one of the reasons why that i was thinking about painting the cabinets all the way anyway but we ended up having to do it anyways also up on the hood i'm going to show you in a few moments i believe where that there's some marks like it's just i don't know anyway smoked up or something i can't get it off i've tried lots of different things and i can't get it off if you have any tips of something that might get it off without damaging the hood please let me know because i don't want to mess up the metal and um it is a good range hood this is where i'm going to show you See, it's, it's just, I don't know if it's stains or what, but I cannot get it off. And it's also on the back, at the backsplash. Not that little thing that Jeff put up, but the other part. The little thing that's up there that um, says home um, is where our family gathers. We got it from the Dollar Tree. But anyway, um, that is all that we're going to have for this video. Stay tuned for part two. And we're going to do the bottom cabinets and the rest of the walls. And you'll see us put the doors on. And you'll get to see the new hardware. And it's so exciting. And I cannot wait. So that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. And hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. Also, leave me a comment down below. What are you doing right now? Have you done a kitchen makeover or anything like that have you done anything to make your house brighter do you have any suggestions let me know and i will see you guys next time remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet